Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Today we're going to be making a resin skull and I'm going to be showing you how I mix my resin. So if you don't want to see that, just fast forward. But, you know, if you're new to resin, you might want to see how I mix my resin. So we're going to jump in and get started. I'm using the Let's Resin Epoxy. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's one part A to one part B. Your kit is going to come with a jug of A and a jug of B. This is A that I'm pouring in first. And I went in with 8 ounces part A, and now I'm going to go in with 8 ounces part B. I was mixing up 16 ounces total. So 8 ounces part A, 8 ounces part B equals 16 ounces. If you were just going to be following this tutorial step by step, you would only need four ounces for this first layer. Um, but whenever I do resin, I'm always working on a ton of different projects at once. So I typically always mix up 16 ounces, but if you were only gonna do four ounces, you would do two ounces part A, two ounces part B. Now I'm going in with my plastic spatula and I'm gonna mix that up for three minutes, okay? Mixing slowly, scraping the bottom of the cup, scraping the side of my cup, scraping off my stir stick, making sure that I'm not, you know, really whipping it up, introducing a bunch of air bubbles into my resin. And I like to use these plastic spatulas because the wooden stir sticks are not sealed or treated in any way, so they will leak air into your epoxy. So I recommend using a silicone spatula or a plastic spatula um, that will really help reduce air bubbles. When, after my clear is all mixed up and I'm gonna go mix my pigments, I will use wooden stir sticks for that, but not for mixing my clear up. So I mix it up for three minutes and now I'm taking that mix and I'm pouring it into a new clean cup and I'm scraping every single drop out of that first cup that we had. Um, your parts A and B need to be completely equal. So it is critical that you scrape every drop out of that first cup. This is also why a spatula comes in handy. Just making sure you get every single bit out of that cup and we're gonna mix for another three minutes. This is called the double cup mixing technique and this ensures your epoxy is 100% mixed. Um, a lot of times when people start out with resin, their resin might not set up properly and it's either due to under mixing or your parts A and B are not completely equal or your workspace is too cold. Uh, resin likes to be at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit to set up properly. Um, some brands you can do it a little bit colder, but the Let's Resin likes it at about 70. So you want to make sure your workspace is nice and warm and you do want to work in a well ventilated area as well. So mix that up for three minutes and now we're ready to pour. I'm going to be using this Ocean White today. This is also from Let's Resin. I poured one ounce of clear into this little cup. You can get these little cups from Let's Resin as well. Added one drop of that Ocean White and you want to shake that jar up and I'm just gonna mix it. See, I'm using a wooden stir stick here. It's not a big deal because you're not mixing for, you know, six minutes. You're just mixing for about 30 seconds when you do this. And I love the Ocean White. It works great to make resin flower coasters as well. So definitely check out Let's Resin. They have everything you need to do resin and discount code NAPTIME will give you a discount. So now I'm going in with four ounces of clear and I only filled up the mold up about halfway and now I'm going in with a little bit of that white that we mixed up. I was just doing some swirly lines, kind of just drizzling it right on top of that clear. We're going to try to make a smoky look on this skull and we're going to be pouring it in two different layers. So I'm just adding a little bit. I didn't want to add too much because the white is very opaque. It will take over if you add too much, so don't add too much. And now I'm going to take some more clear, pour it right on top of that white to kind of push that white 
all the way down to the top or the bottom of the skull mold and that's it let it cure overnight this is the next day going in with some of this holographic glitter from let's resin this stuff is so beautiful you'll see when we take this out of the mold it is amazing just poured that right into my mold and now i'm just taking a q-tip you can use a q-tip uh, old makeup brush or even your gloved hand to do this you just want to make sure that you're careful and you're not breaking the seal on your mold when you're handling it. Um, if you break the seal, your second pour is going to go down through that gap in the seal and kind of just cover your entire first layer. So just handle the mold carefully. You know, don't break the seal on that first layer and just brush this all over inside of the mold. Make sure every single spot is covered in there and then we will be good to fill up the mold the rest of the way. This set of glitters comes with six different colors. You can get it off Amazon or the Let's Resin website and my code NAPTIME will give you a discount. Here's how it was looking. Now we're gonna go in with some black tinted epoxy and fill up the mold the rest of the way. And to mix my, or to make my clear epoxy black, I just used a pea size amount of black mica powder and two drops of black alcohol ink. And I didn't mix up enough on this day. You could 100% do this all in one layer, but this is the following day of me filling up the mold the rest of the way with some black. Um, like I said, you could have done this all in one pour, but I didn't mix up enough on day number two. So I had to go in on day number three and fill up the mold the rest of the way with some black. Let it cure overnight. Here we are getting ready to take it out of the mold. After you've used this mold a few times, it, these come out really easy. I just kind of break the seal on the sides and then flip it upside down like this. Take my thumbs, push from the top, and peel up with my other fingers and it'll pop right out. But if it's your first time using the mold, I would recommend just pulling the mold to the side, squirt a little 91% isopropyl alcohol in there, work it around the inside of the mold, and then the skull will pop right out. When your molds are brand new, this mold um, takes a little bit of time to demold, but just take your time and it'll come out nicely. But here's how it turned out. See how pretty that holographic glitter is? And the top really looks like smoke. The deeper your mold is, the more kind of pronounced your smoky effect will be. So this mold is perfect for this type of look. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments. I hope you like it and you can get this mold and all the materials I used from Let's Resin. Discount code NAPTIME will give you a discount. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, NAPTIME Creations, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.